Okay, so what we're going to look at right now is how to, actually we'll, we'll begin by creating a two column layout in Dreamweaver CS4 and we'll be working with CSS. Now, what we want to talk about before we begin this all is thinking a little bit more about how the web works, how HTML works, and how CSS works and Dreamweaver. So what we want to think is that everything that we see on a web page is contained within a box. And this is actually called the box model. Um, and so what that's why we'll work quite a bit with div tags. We'll work quite a bit with div tags. So what we want to do here, we're seeing a page of a site. Uh, and I have a background laid in, which is a piece of graph paper. And I'm going to go back to design view. Let's just look at it in design view. And let's begin by creating a div tag in the center. So I'm going to come to my insert panel and I'm going to come to insert div tag. And I'm going to say, yeah, at insertion point. And that's wherever my, um, my cursor is. Okay. And I'm going to name this one container. Okay. This is going to be the container that's going to hold my div tags. Right now I created a CSS sheet, it's teaching CSS. I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to just apply a simple background so we can see it. I'm going to make it like this yellowy color. Okay, and I'm going to create a box and the box is going to be about 900 pixels. I'll put the height in at 1000 pixels. Now let's make um, turn, let's make the, the right auto and the left auto. What this does, whenever you put the word auto in, Dreamweaver will, and this is work, we're working with CSS right now, will just automatically set the margins of that container. So I'm going to hit apply, OK, OK, and there we have it. All right, let's just preview real quick in Firefox so you can see uh, what I've said about the margins here. And we can see that the margins are setting themselves automatically. Now, what we want to take a look at, and I'm going to delete this right here. We're going to take a look at how we could lay out two columns. Now, so again, what we want to think about is that all of the elements on our page are within boxes. And sometimes we have boxes within boxes within boxes. So you could even create an entire container for your page and then insert a header and, you know, columns and a footer all within that container. And what that does, because when you're on the web and you go to different browsers um, and every screen is a different resolution, when you put all of those elements in one container, then they'll adjust together you can actually control how they'll adjust on different browsers. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to insert another div tag. So we're going to come insert div tag. And what we're going to say is we're going to insert this div tag um, after the start of the tag. And we're going to insert it after the start of the div ID container. So that will make it go inside of here. All right, now let's look at what this would look like in, in if we split. What we're saying is that we're going to insert this next tab, tag, this next div container right within this div. Okay? All right, so let's go to it. So we say insert div tag, and we are again, we're going to say after start of tag, and we're going to say after start of div ID container, and we're going to name this one left column. We're going to say new CSS rule. It's an ID. It applies to only one element. It's on this teaching CSS. Now, I created the CSS sheet at the beginning. Um, that is actually my CSS sheet. So don't worry. If the story with the, the CSS sheet is, is an external sheet connected, and if you just keep applying rules, they'll just be in your CSS styles panel. And then you can actually export them all to one sheet. OK, so we'll hit OK. Now, let's put a background color in so we can see it. We're going to click. We'll choose a light gray for that one. And we are going to make a box. And we'll make this one 425 pixels by, I'm going to make it 344 pixels. Now, I did that. Actually, that's the 
I'll make it 345. That's about the standard size for YouTube videos. And I, in the next video, I'm going to go over how to insert YouTube videos and how to embed them within here. I'm going to hit apply. I'm going to hit OK and OK and there it is. OK, now let's go to our next one. Now we want to insert a right column. So we begin. We come back to Window. Oh, we come back to our Insert panel. Insert Div Tag and we're going to say After Tag this time. And we are going to say After. We're going to insert this After the Left Column Tag. Now. We're going to name this right column. We're going to say new CSS rule. Again, it's an ID that applies only to one element, teaching CSS. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to go to my background. I'm going to set a background color that will be like a darker gray. I'm going to come to my box. I'm going to make my box 425, whoopsie, 425 by 345. OK. And I'm going to hit apply. OK. OK. All right, now this is what happens HTML reads from top to bottom. OK. So HTML goes top to bottom. And what we need to do now is we need to use CSS to break what HTML does. What we're going to do is we want to float these two next to one another. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to come back to our CSS styles panel. Up oh, there it is. It's right in front of me. And we're going to select the left column first. We're going to come to box and we're going to tell CSS to float this one left. We're going to hit apply. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to come to the right column. And we are going to come into box. And we are going to tell Dreamweaver to float this next column, right? Apply. OK. And there we have it. We're going to preview this in Firefox. OK. And we can see that we have two columns here. And what we could do now is I put those background colors in, OK, just so I could see them. But we could make these bigger um, and continue to add things next to one another. We take these colors off. Now, let's say that I wanted to add some other elements underneath this. How would I go about doing this? Well, we actually could, you know, turn the entire left column into bring it down to 1000 pixels and then insert things. So why don't we start with that? Okay. Um, so let's double click left column. Let's come to the box. Let's come to the height of this. Let's make it one, one, two, three. I'm going to apply. Okay. And what we can see is that now this is the same. It's moving a little bit slow, but it's the same height as my container. And again, everything within HTML, within the web, is contained within boxes, and it's often referred to as the box model. Okay, now what I could do next is I could come in to the left column here, okay, and I could just start inserting the different items that I wanted to be within here, okay? So how would I do that? Well, <clears throat> what I would do is once again, come into Window, look at my Insert panel, Insert Div Tag, and I could say, okay, I want to insert a Div Tag after Start of Tag, and I'm going to make it after Left Column. Okay, let's say I'm going to name this um, Video 1. Okay, I'm going to make this a new CSS rule again. Um, I'm going to come in, I'm going to put a background color in just so we can see it. Again, we could turn all these background colors off at the very end if we wanted to. Um, I'm going to make my box, I'm going to make the box, um, how big, let's see, the box will be, 
300, about 350 pixels high. 350. Up, oh, that's my width. Okay, the the height will be 350, and we'll make the 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 width 425. Apply. All right, so now we have that. Now, if I was to come in after this, and I would start inserting these, they would automatically be within this column. So now let's say that I wanted to have a little bit of type after this. Well, what I could do is I could come once again to my window, to my insert. I could insert another div tag, and I could say, you know, now I could say after tag, and I could say I want this to go right after, oopsie, right after um, video one. And I could say type video one, new CSS rule, okay. I could put in a box here. I could figure out what the size of my box will be. I'll say 425 and I'll make my height 50 pixels to start, apply. Now I don't need to worry about um, floating this one back left and right because uh, it's within this tag. Let's try the same over on this side. Again, everything that's on our page is going to be put within boxes, within div tags. Okay, now, and again, if I wanted to move this more center, I could work with a little bit more with some other elements, for instance, the margins, the, the padding, the border. Okay, so there's a lot that we could do then, even organizing these elements within columns. All right, so I'm gonna come, and I'm gonna come now into uh, the div ID for right column and look at stacking some other elements in this right column. So we're gonna look at our CSS styles, okay? And we're gonna look at right column. I'm gonna to come to right column, and I am going to make my box 1,000 1, pixels long. I'm gonna apply, okay. All right, now I'm gonna put in, you know, who knows, I should have, I didn't uh, really figure out what video this would be, but I'm gonna put in content for another video. Okay, so once again, we're gonna to come to our insert panel and we're gonna say insert div tag and I'm going to say after start of tag and we're gonna insert after the start tag of div ID right column and I'm going to say video, let's just make it video four, why not, three on a column and I'll say Ooh, new CSS rule, okay, and I will come to background, Got something crazy on, why not, that's pretty bright, and I'm going to make a box, and we're going to make the box, what, 425 by, I forget what I did the other one, 345, I think, apply, Okay, okay. Now, the reason why I don't need to put in float right again is because I'm actually putting these elements directly within this column. Okay, so here we go. Now, let me double check and see what this one was next. All right, so pretty much, you know, what you need to do and figure out is if you're going to do this and you wanted a third column, well, if you'd have to start with a container and then just divide it into three, even divide it into two, and then you could divide it into, into two more. So for instance, um, I could make, where I have content for video one, I could make this one column. Then even within content for video four, I could put elements in here, float one left and float one right. So the possibilities are endless. Okay, but again, we're thinking about everything existing within boxes. Thanks for listening. I'll end there.